This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focusing yourself. That's what it is. All right, so today we're going to do a reaction to a loyalty test video. Fellas, if you have to give your girl a loyalty test, if you feel the need to do that, nine out of ten times, she's already cheating on you. In life, you have to follow your intuition, right? Your intuition will never lie to you. That's one thing about life. All right, so with no further ado, let's jump right into the video. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Today we put together and executed yet another loyalty test. Trey wanted to put his girlfriend Jelly to the loyalty test to see if she was truly loyal to him or not. So you guys, here's the thing. Trey and Jelly actually met on a dating show called Matt. And that is how they actually met each other. And that is how they actually got together. It sounds like you got trust issues. That's the biggest reason why I'm saying I got trust issues. And my trust issues get me in trouble. Because I feel like a lot of people, when they got trust issues, they assume a lot. When you assume a lot, you do shit that you don't mean. Or you do shit off the impulse of your assumption. But as time went on, Trey didn't think it was a Look, fellas, let me just say this, man. When it comes to dating a girl that you meet on a dating show or on a dating app, you should never take a girl like that serious and try to get into a long-term relationship with her. It should be a situation where you in and out. And I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Because women like that are usually chasing clout, and women on dating apps like usually have issues or like i said they don't look that good that's why they are on a dating app because trust me if a chick is hot she will be getting so much attention in real life that she don't have the time to get on a dating app so let's keep that in mind a good idea to actually jump back into a relationship right away because he has just got cheated on in his previous relationship Damn. and now in his current relationship trey is claiming that jelly is now showing those same signs What's good, bro? Hey, Jay, what up? I'm surprised you messaged me back to even do this shit, bro. Nah, for sure, bro. Man, like I was explaining to you on the messages, so I met my girl on this dating show earlier this year. And, like, after the show, whatever, we went out later on that night, and it was cool, and, you know, we was texting, chopping it up, and all of that. But lately, it's just been feeling like I jumped into it way too fast. Like, the more time we spend together, the more red flags I say she giving me that it was just too soon. I think I was too geeked out about the show that I didn't even pay attention to what I should have been paying attention to when we was in the talking stage, I guess you could say. Right, right. How long y'all been together since the show, bro? Man, we got together officially in April, but we have been like messing around since early March. All right, bro, so I'm just gonna like grow up some shit, see what we can do, you know. Get That's crazy. Shit like that. And um, when do you want to do the test? Man, as soon as possible, bro. I'm trying to figure this shit out, bro. It ain't easy sleeping next to somebody you can't trust. Nah, for sure, bro. All right, so uh, I got your number and shit. Just stay in touch, bro, and we're going to go from there. Play like that. For sure. <laughs> For today's loyalty test, I went and got the homie Wells. Today, Wells will be playing a fake personal trainer that will be giving Jelly tips throughout our workout, but essentially making his move. First of all, like it's just a, a lot that go on at home that I don't really want to put in the camera too much. Not for sure. But then on top of that, she come work out up here a lot. And, you know, as a couple, I'd be like, man, let's go work out together. I'd be hooping and shit like that. But she always like, nah, I want to go by myself. And she just moved out here. She ain't really got no homies and all. So I'm like, what's... Why you always at the gym by yourself? Who, right. you and then, like I say, we got a lot that going at the house that just made me second guess the trust and shit like that. So it's, I just really want to see what's what she doing. I know. You got her into working out, or she kind of just got into it herself? Right. We got like a spot at our crib that we was doing it together, and then she said, "I found this twenty four hour fitness that she got a membership to, and she just want to start doing that." I trust her, but it's still fresh to to say I fully trust her. So I need okay. to really see how she rock. I got a guy going in right now, okay. just to like you know what I'm saying. Fill her out, talk to her, and see how she do. We can watch everything right here from the car. You can put those headphones on. Yeah, yeah we can uh, basically see everything that's going on. I told Wells to go in smooth. I wanted him to take his time. I didn't want him to approach her off the jump or nothing like that. So go ahead and get you a couple reps in, big dog. Uh, so on a scale of one to ten, how confident are you in her passing this test? I don't know. Keep, like keep it a hundred, man. I'm gonna keep it a band with you. I'm like 50 50. Like I told you, fresh. <laughs> Damn. Damn. 
All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, excuse me, I'm trying to try to interrupt your workout. Like your form is a little bit wrong. Can I help you like change it up a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so when you're doing that, try not to bend your knees. Try to go straight down with it and then back up. Nah, <laughs> try not to bend your knees. So go straight down, keep your legs straight, and then back up. Yeah, does that feel a little bit better? Yeah, you feel that yeah. more in your hamstrings a little bit? Yeah. How long have you been coming here? Um, probably like two or three months. Yeah? yeah you I like it here? here? You did? Yeah. From where? Louisiana. Louisiana? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. You a Saints fan? Of course. Damn, son. You got your girl from Louisiana. I ain't going to hold you, man. It seems like most chicks down there, they be going, bro. They be going. I ain't gonna hold you, man. They got some of the biggest thoughts out there, though. I mean, but the women down there be pretty, but they be super easy, fam. Fellas, be careful wifing up those girls from Louisiana, man. I'm telling you. Uh, see, I'm, I'm all about the Cowboys. <laughs> okay, but look, I'm gonna let you get back to your workout, though. I'll see you, though. All right? So now that Wells and Jelly are somewhat acquainted, when Wells is ready, he'll then go back in. And shoot his shot. Better, better. How long you been in here? Like an hour. Like an hour? Yeah. Yeah, you about done? Almost to. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been kind of peeping you, and I was seeing if maybe you want to go eat something to eat after this, get some Chipotle. I don't even eat Chipotle. Like. What you eat? Like, you go to Salada. Well, it's after the gym, you know. I like to eat something healthy, but I mean, I want to take you out, treat you to lunch or something. If you're down, you I mean, even, like, you said, walk up to somebody, you don't even know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just get distracted. You know, you, you got a lot going on. You pop in, you got the yellow. I'm just super distracted right now. So, what, what's your name? How about that? I'm Jelly. Jelly, I'm Wells. It's nice to meet you. I can't get a handshake. No, I don't know you. <laughs> you can't just be shaking everybody's hand out here. Well, how about we dab it up? Is that cool? There we go. There we go. So, yeah, so I like to get to know you better. You know, you, you new here. I'm new here. We can kind of maybe go out and get to know each other a little bit. Um, Is that cool? You going to do? Yeah, I got to do. I mean, I would rather him not come. I mean, I feel like we can go and get to know each other as friends. Like, you, you do let you have friends? <laughs> I don't know about that. Come on, just a couple of minutes of your time. Come out with me. I'll buy you lunch. We get to know each other a little bit better. You can tell me more about you and your boyfriend, whatever. And we and just vibe it out. Like, you don't know me. This is my first time seeing you here in the gym. And you just trying to take me out already. Like, it got crazy people in this world. Okay, well, what about if I get your number? We text you each other. Wow, me. I can't get the number neither. Uh, okay, so she doing it. Yeah, she and she doing good. I don't want to be texting you, dude. I'm interested in you, not him. But you got to go through him to get to me, so. No, nah, I don't do that. Well, I guess I, I guess guess it was good meeting you. You know, I guess yeah. I'll see you around here. No? All right, I'll see you. OK, bet, bet, bet. See, I ain't going to lie. I thought she was going to go for it. But for her to turn them away like that, I, I mean, that's you. just the first part of the test. Don't get too excited now, because you know. OK. That's just the first part of the test, but uh, he should be coming out soon. So that took my fifty to like a seventy, though. I ain't fifty to a seventy. Like a, All right, 70. okay, cool. So you guys, Jelly passed phase one of the test with flying colors. She did not give Wells her phone number, or she did not agree to go out with him on a date. But slow your road, Trey, because it is not over with yet. There's phase two to this test. So before this test started, I took That's it upon crazy. myself to go ahead and rent out a lamb chop truck, you guys. So not uh -oh. only will we be testing Jelly's loyalty. We're testing to see if she's a gold digger as well. That's crazy. To see if she's a bird, fellas. To see if she's a bird. You got the crumbs. The bird's going to come, man. I'm telling you, bro. It's Look crazy. Around. The world is changing. I, I feel a little bit better than I felt when it I woke should, up. Bro. Right Honestly, I here. took the shirt off. I had the gangs pop in. You know what I'm saying? Like, most girls go for that. She wasn't with it. She wouldn't dab me up. <laughs> she didn't want to shake my hand, bro. So I don't know if she got some COVID thing or whatever. But I mean, that's just, that sounds like loyalty to me. If she passed, like, would you want to tell her that this was a test? I ain't gonna lie, no. Nah. If she passed, I'm gonna just 
So I'm just keeping moving, bro. It is what it is. Okay. I know it's, it's, it's overstood at that point. So. All right, so let's go ahead and get you in position, bro, before she end up coming outside and we blow all of our all okay. of this or whatever. So let's go ahead and get you in the, in the, in the car and shit. All right, all right, Sabella, let's do it. Buckle up, right, pimpin' right time. Now. Yeah, let me holler at her real quick. Jelly, hold up. Real quick, I know you weren't interested in like going out with me, it's cool, but I'm a personal trainer, like I was serious about that. And if you ever need some tips or anything, here's my card. I think you should hit me up sometime. Okay. Yeah. But you have a good one though. Uh, I'm a trainer. <laughs> right. Also, I'm on business, my own personal training business. I have a couple of gyms located around. I just came through here because I want to get away from the, the hectic, you know, hustle and bustle of my own gyms. But you have a good day though. Thank you. It's nice. Nice. You yeah. like it? Yeah. You know, I, was, I wasn't sure if I. Yeah, that's so you know, like a chick is a bird, fam. She's going to be like, nice car. That's nice. I like that car. Is that your car? That's so you know a chick is a bird. That's so you know like you got a boom. That one. That's all it took, man. If I wanted to go with the green or the orange, but... Yeah, come check it out. Come check I it like out. I the green because it's my favorite color, so... It is? I liked it. Like, it's, it was <laughs> I, it's a pop of color. I like the interior, though, because they had a red interior. Know, that's his shit, though. Interior, I wasn't really sure to go with just the black. Wow, the black is straight. It is? I ain't never been in a lamb trunk, so... I mean, they comfortable. You want to want to check it out? Yeah. Perfect. Real quick, you got you got time? Yeah, I got time. My my boyfriend not here yet. So. Okay, well hop on in. Okay. Damn, son. She finna hop in the car? Damn Skippy. Yeah, so you know we got the bucket seats. Damn, what the hell That's now, bro? Good. What the fuck? That's nice. It didn't even say Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep the door open though, cause you know. So your boyfriend will get mad that you in here sitting with me? Nah, if anything, he probably would. Be like the fact that you know I'm in the Lamborghini. Okay. Well, <laughs> what? It's better than sitting in the Lamborghini. It's right. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. If I call her, should I call nah, her? Nah, bro, don't call her. Don't call her, bro. She ain't really did nothing wrong yet. So if you call her, what she, at? what have she really done so far? She just, tried, she getting in the car with, bro. What you mean? She ain't did shit wrong. I'm Put it like saying. this, bro. If you had a girl and your girl saying you just walk up to the car to a female, she gonna. She's checking out a luxury, exotic nah, car. She can literally it. tell you. Look, she can literally go home and say, "Bay, I just wanted to look at the car." Facts. We could go look at the car. Check it out. To go what? To go get something to eat, get something to drink. Like I told you before, like Chocolate, I was. Right? Yeah, get something to eat. I'm really trying to get to know you, like on some real shit. Like there are a lot of pretty attractive girls in there, but you really stuck out to me. And it's because I got yellow. Nah, not because of that. Just because your vibe, you know. And I mean, I like your physique. You know, you got the body that I like. That Louisiana homegrown body, you know. So <laughs> I'm really trying to. I'm trying to see what's up with you. Um, I think you should just give me a chance. You know, let me take you out. Even if it's on some friendship stuff, like it's cool. I mean, I guess it's pretty cool. You know, me and Damn my have been on good terms lately. So. Sorry, she's trying to shoot shots and shit. Yeah, well, slide I'm out trying with me. To stay loyal, but... It's tough. What? I'm trying to. St I'm trying to stay loyal, but I'm trying. Peep her words. I am trying my best to stay loyal. That's a bird right there, bro. <laughs> One thing about a woman don't have to try to stay loyal is either she's loyal or she's not. Birds have to try to stay loyal. Birds have to try to stay faithful. So right then, then, bro, you should already know the type of chick that you're dealing with. By the way, if you see a girl give a dude traction just based on the fact that he's in a Lambo and all, but she had to turn him down in the gym, that's a bird. That's like you meet a chick in the club. She she like turn you down in the club. As soon as she see you in the parking lot with a benzo or some nice, all of a sudden she have amnesia. She forget she forgot y'all actually met in the club. That's a bird, fellas. It's crazy, man. Y'all gotta keep away from these birds, man. It's tough sometimes, you know. And you just moving out here? Did you move out here with him? Um, no, he already lived out here, so I just moved out here. So you don't really know what he has to offer. I mean, there's a lot of bigger, better things out here, you know. Damn. Hey, I guess you know what men won't do nothing with. Exactly. What <laughs> she talking about? What that's supposed to mean? Damn. Not here. You want to follow me, or you got your car here and everything? You want to follow me? Uh, 
but you said riding the lamb is better, so we might go. We should go take a step. Okay. Or All right. Let's spin the pot real quick. All right. Let's go. Damn. Uh, that sound? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sound good. Bro, you didn't say shit about them going nowhere. Bro, they weren't supposed, to go. They they the supposed to go nowhere. I ain't trying to see this shit no more, man. What the fuck is they going? Bro, we gotta follow them, brother. Stop, stay in the car, stay in the car. You taking up for a spin. Listen, man, you see how easy it is for a dude to like snatch your chick if she's a bird dog? That dude could literally smash her right now in the back seat of that Lambo if you want to. Like right there and then, like you see how open his girl got? Smiling now, cracking jokes. Extra friendly, extra, extra friendly. That pussy getting wet right now, like in that Lambo. <laughs> Come on, man. That's crazy. Man, I'd follow their ass myself, bro. Be mad. We following this bitch. She failed, G. <laughs> she failed for the Lambo. Now, it's debatable. Debate in the comments right now what y'all think. She have no idea that you're in this car behind her. It's the crazy part. Yeah, I'm finna fuck her whole day up. This is wild. They said he was going to Starbucks, bro. Your girlfriend drinks Starbucks? I know five forty. Oh shit, we don't fuck around. Ooh. Oh, you turn right there. We good. We good. We good. Woo! Hey. Yeah. So. That's the fuck, y'all. Yeah. So what you like? Oh, oh shit. shit. What the fuck is you doing, bro? Bro, what is you doing? You look like a big ass mustard bottle. Get the fuck out the car, man. <laughs> nah, he said you look like a mustard body. Oh my god. <laughs> you look like a big ass mustard body. Oh, nah. He ended up like that, though. Damn, son. That's wild, bro. That's the fuck, y'all? Yeah, that's how we should be like. Look like a big ass. Oh, what the fuck is you doing, bro? Bro, what is you doing? You look like a big ass mustard bottle. Get the fuck out the car, man. The nah, hell, nah, that's crazy. Bro, you really, you're doing too much. I'm doing too much. You in the car with a whole other nigga. I'm making a scene. I was just riding in the lamb truck. That you was just at the gym. I tried to go with you. You said no, and now I see you in the car with a whole other dude. I just wanted to ride in the lamb truck. Like you really what making the, a scene. You, you just wanted to ride in the lamb truck. You didn't know that. Why are you yelling at me? Why you in the car with another nigga? What did you mean? I was just going to get coffee, my nigga. At five forty, because you're talking about some coffee. Because that's what people do after Not you after get a drink. Out. After you work out, you get an energy drink. Energy drink, man. Yeah, you just said you was getting coffee. You, Same thing. What you think coffee is, dude? That ain't no energy drink. Bro, you really doing too much. I'm, I'm not doing too much. Like, yeah, you doing, doing too much. much. But you walking by dude ass. I'm not. I'm about to walk in to get my coffee. With who? Myself, obviously. But you hopped out the car with somebody else. So I, I was just riding yourself. in the lamb truck. It don't even make sense. You was just riding in the lamb truck. Okay, but that's in the lamb truck. I want to sip his way. What do you mean? What is this? A close relationship? Sound crazy to a lot of people. My family seems to have a polyamorous relationship. Really? How do you feel? I had one before. So. Yeah. You mean what is this? A closed relationship? Look what we're doing now. Now that's all we do. That's what we're doing. Yeah. What we're doing now. So just because we're making a whole scene from everybody. I'm making a scene because you want to call with another motherfucker. I was After really I tried to come the to the gym, which it don't matter. Riding in the car, sitting in the car. Being in the car, you in the car with another motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I know, basically, all this is loyalty says. We was watching you the whole time. Ever since you was in the gym, he came to you and approached you. We I, knew everything that was happening. He put you on a loyalty test. So. I hollered at him when he before he hopped in the car. Well, this ain't even his car, you fucking goofy. Okay, what you talking this about? I didn't kiss car. him or nothing. It don't matter. You hopped in the car with him. I just wanted to sit with the Right, you was going to sit right there. Have you some coffee and then go kiss him, right? No, bro. Don't even play with Cat me like that. Don't play with you. Don't play with me like this. What the fuck is you talking about? Like, you're really doing too much. How the fuck am I doing too much? You in the car with a whole other nigga, bro. Okay, what is you talking I still about? go ride in a lamb. Riding truck. in the car, sitting in the car, looking at the car, approaching the car, whatever. This is not the car you pulled up in, and this ain't the car you supposed to be in. If it ain't my... Man, look, it is what it is, dog. You fell in love with a bird, okay? 
This is what you get when you choose to wife up a chick that you met on a dating show, bro. A dating show? Fellas, if you meet any woman online or on any of these dating shows, she is for the streets. In case y'all don't know, you're not going to find a virtuous woman on a dating show or on a dating app. You don't wife those up. You get in and get out. Have fun and move around. But a sucker ass dude will think he could wife up a woman like that. All right, fellas, so keep that in mind. Now, secondly, women that are from Louisiana, in case you dudes don't know, those are the prettiest birds out there. They got a bunch of pretty women down there. But they thoughts, trust, I run into a few. And, and I had to learn a long time ago. <laughs> you don't wife up these type of chicks. They're pretty as shit. But they who they are. And the worst thing that you could do is move her into your city. Like, especially like if you're from a big city, the worst thing you could do is move her into your city. Because she will venture off. That's the bottom line, okay? So it is what it is, man. But... And then third, fam, shorty's a bird. She went for the Lambo. She went for the Lambo, bro. It is what it is. As a man, what you should do is learn from this, bro. Like, you got to learn from this. That's the most you could do, man. You can't make no sense being mad at her. Learn where you went wrong. Because he said this is the second time a girl... No, he said uh, he's tired of getting uh, like cheated on. So what you could do is learn from it, the fam. You out. First of all, you met her in March. You wiped her up by April. Fellas, it takes time to get to know a woman, dog. You can't wife up no chicks within weeks. Even months. You got to take a time, fam. You got to go through different stages with her. You got to see the type of chick she is. And that's just what it is, man. So, man, the bottom line is this, man. Fellas, focus on yourself. Don't be quick to wife these chicks up. Do not commit to women that you meet online, whether she is on a dating show or a dating app. All right? And that's just what it is. I'm out.